now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Until midnight tonight from New York, New York, the city so nice they named it twice. Hey, guess who's there, ladies and gentlemen? That's Albert Reynoso. How are you, Albert? I'm good. How are you, Alex? Well, not so good. Oh, I had to ask that, didn't you? You had to ask. Yesterday, I'm walking down the street with Marjorie. You left the house. Well, that's a good start. Well, that was a bad idea. Oh, well, sorry. And as I'm walking, I trip and take a horrible fall. It's I've a, seen uh, I've seen you stumble, but I've never seen you fall. Hit me! Hit oh, my I see hit, you have hit. a black and blue on your hand there. Do I have it on my hand? No. No, I don't. Get on the bottom of your hand? No. On the side there, on the side. On the side. Oh, look at that! I didn't notice that. You're right. Huge, huge black and blue. Yes. Yeah. Wow. You don't feel it? No, that but I also like hit myself on the head, and Man, I also, I have, I can't show you, I have these two giant bruises on my leg, for blood mm-hmm. bruises from scraping the pavement, okay, wow. and, and my knee is just shot. What does that mean, shot? I, 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 I can't walk. It's horrible. I mean, well, I, I'm sure you can walk, but it's probably painful. It's painful, yeah, okay. and I'm sure it will get better. You know, it will. But that's not. It's not good. You know. And then on top of that, my camera keeps going out. So if it does, I just have to shift over to another camera. Oh, you got problems, boy! Wow, you you're 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 one of the people in the world with the most problems I've ever heard of. How about it, huh? Huh? <laughs> How about it? So I'm. You know, if I I'm sitting here, I'm fine. But if I stand up and the leg just stings, you know. Then don't stand up. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think I broke anything. I don't think I, you know, did anything like that. But, yeah, I didn't notice that. Thank you for telling me. I, my friends can tell me when I have bruises. It's hideous. It, no, it's not hideous. It's pretty hideous. It's very black and blue. Wow. Yeah. I fell down on the hand. I usually... My hands get it, although this one should have gotten it more, this one. But because I put my hands on and I'm falling, you know. But apparently, I think what I did is I wrenched my knee, you know, and... uh, You wrenched your knee. I wrenched my knee. The time I heard that phrase was uh, playing... uh, Jesus. um, What? What what is that uh, game where you used to... uh, fish for the different parts of the body, and, and if you hit the thing wrong, it would buzz? What was that called again? That's uh, 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 the last time I heard some something was wrenched. I think it was the wrenched ankle. Oh, the wrenched ankle. I see. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, uh, what was that game called? It was called. Uh, it's at the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. Yeah, you can't remember either. Well, then you're as bad as I am. Not nearly. What do you mean, not nearly? Because I don't have these problems falling down and bruising myself and wrenched knee and all this. Well, I was with Marjorie and I was holding her hand because we kind of hold each other's hands when we're walking down the street. Because as old people, it kind of helps if something happens. That's cute. I was holding on to her, but apparently she didn't hold me very well and I just went down. So or Maybe she said, I'm letting go, otherwise he's going to take me down with him. Yeah, but this is all, the only the third fall I think I've taken in about three years. Took one up the street outside of the pharmacy. Why are you falling all the time? That's not normal. Well, have you have you seen the sidewalks in this town? Well, but I've seen you walk and you walk very poorly. First of all, you don't move your arms. Secondly, you pick up your feet very little, almost at a shuffle. So I'm not surprised that you catch the edge of a, of, of a curb or something. Yeah, yeah. What, you you have to do a little more to protect yourself, like walk 
with your feet being picked up. And I have to learn to remove the arms, like the your person, arms the, at your side, so like your balance is Like a woman on Seinfeld, remember? Whatever it is, yeah. You don't you don't walk with your arms moving. That's that's not Marjorie good. Marjorie says I don't either. Yeah, she's right. We've all said that for years. But what does it matter? You fell down three times in a year. That's what it matters. But, and, but well, and, how, and, how, would, and, how would doing this stop me from falling? It helps your balance. That's why we move our arms when we when we walk. So so we have a better balance one side to the other. That could be. As far as I can tell in the in the in the slim logic that that exists in there, you know. My, and, and you should be you I, should be are, are you should you be fortunate. I, are you saying I have slim logic? No, no, that was my slim logic. Oh, your slim saying. logic. Okay. You you should really feel fortunate that you haven't, you know, hurt yourself in a bigger way than that because, you know, a lot of people fall and they 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 have brittle bones now and they at that age and and they uh, break a hip or something which takes a long long time to heal yeah i don't want to i don't want to break a hip but that's too old people stuff yeah well falling down three times in a year is old people stuff too so pick your feet up and move your arms well man. no not in a, in a year over about three years maybe four years i did a big fall i can't remember still not when. normal still not up normal. the street and then when I do the other fall, oh, I did a fall on Broadway. I stumbled over a curb. Did you get applause? Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't get applause. Do a curtain but, call? But do it again. When, you, when you're my age, everybody comes to help. Can we help the old man? Yeah. You know, very nice guy yesterday helped me up. Uh, and he said, uh, do you want to sit down and, you know, can we do anything for you? And I said, no. I said, I just want to walk. And then all of a sudden, I noticed my leg was hurting. You know. You're very lucky because a lot of people don't help people anymore because they're scared of litigation. Yeah, no, these. In fact, there were two people, and Marjorie just sat around watching. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, he falls. Well, like next that. time it happens, if they look wealthy, then you can, you know. Well, you know, I want to. Go, Why did you touch me? Look what you did to me. I want to go you on vacation. I want to go on vacations. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. uh, you know, I want to be able to walk. You know, that would be nice if I can walk. Let me suggest you you get the, the, the little cart they have at, uh, you know, Walmart and places like the that. Costco? You know, yeah. yeah, the Costco cart. Yeah, well, yeah. here's the deal. Here's the deal. So we're planning. We're Don't looking for vacations. We're looking for vacations. Uh -huh. And what I'm looking for now is I saw villas for rent for a week. Oh, you know, in me. Italy or France, and they get come at about uh, I don't know five thousand a week. I mean, some of them are very expensive. Some of them you pay forty five thousand for the week, but huh? we're not looking at those. All right, five thousand a week seems pretty reasonable. But even the one at five thousand a week, it says like holds ten people. Let me know when to that, when to make well, the that, flight that's, reservations. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know. We'll rent the the villa for ourselves, and you can come, and we'll. I, I, who else can I invite? I'll probably invite Lori, you know, because she uh, loves. She and her husband love taking trips, and uh, we can all come stay at uh, Villa Bennett. Villa Bennett. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, either either that, either I'll take that, or you let me house sit for you while you're gone. One or the other, because then the I can, then I can visit my with my daughter as well. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather? be in Italy in a villa with me. Oh, wait a minute. I, I should Trust have said... the coin, either way. I, I shouldn't have said it with me. That, that, oh, that, I don't <laughs> mind you. I'm used to you already. Many people, they can't stand you because they've never met you and don't have the, the experience. But I, I know what I'm in for, so it's okay for me. Well, would you care to tell those people who, who only have to do with me on the uh, internet, for instance, on our shows? Mm-hmm or watch it uh what type of person i really am um no i wouldn't care to do that really no. why no. why because then i'll rescind really, my we I'll rescind. only have a half an hour I'll, first of all well, and i might rescind my invitation to italy no 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 I, I that that doesn't matter i mean if you want me to tell them i'll give them the story but uh there's no need well, you're you're a wonderful host as is your wife tremendous yeah. people and um, aside from your need for affirmation, everything else is fine. What do you fine. mean my need for affirmation? 
you always come around and, and, and ask about how did I do this? How was this? How was that? How was this? Well, you, you see, I, I, the only reason I ask those questions is because... But you do. You see, you just admitted it. You but just I, admitted I can't it. answer them for myself. But because you don't need I'm to not know. observing me. Like I asked my wife, does it look like I'm walking okay? And she what do said, you care? What do you care? Well, from, because who I, says that? Does it look like I'm well, walking? Because I've been having trouble walking lately, and I just want to know that it looks okay. If you're having trouble walking, do what a lot of people do. Get yourself a cane or something to, to help you. That's why we have the cane. A, to help, to help we have a cane in the falling. house, and I tried it, and I don't like it. Whether you like it or not doesn't matter. You need to, to, to use it because you keep going down. That's only my, my you know, small-minded opinion. Okay, you say so. Listen, I was thinking... Uh, what? When you first asked to do this, uh, we talked about having this wonderful thing now that we always wanted, which was the picture phone, the video phone, whatever it's called. Yeah, we, yeah, it's just, we called it the video phone. That's what right. they used to call it. The, which was... No, picture which, phone, probably. Picture phone, which is what, what we always wanted. And now we have it with Zoom. We have it with Facebook. And Live, we don't think twice whatever. about it. Well, we do think twice when we don't want to be seen. We do think twice. But it but it can be used at any time, yes. But now... My, my my thought was, do we need to have a, what essentially is a phone call for everybody to be in on? Do we need to have that? Because that's what we do here. This is just a phone call to catch up. And everybody, literally everybody in the world can be part, can experience this phone call. Do they need to do that? Do we need to have them here? No. Well, they're to, to, not, they're not, to know they, about, they, hey, Alex fell again. Are they going to be typing that up on their on their gadgets? Alex fell again. How can we help him? Well, why I mean, do we do this? Why well, why this, do we do well, this? Well, this is just you and I. Yes, but it it involves the rest of the world. Well, and, eventually. And, and, and if the people who are watching this, and I know there are people watching this, uh, on average, uh, some hundred people watch this. Mm -hmm. uh, post your responses because I'd like to know what is it that you look for when you watch these things I'm intrigued by that I don't know I don't understand what Do the, what the voyeuristic know, thing on a phone call is you know the I, biggest I, you know the biggest numbers I get for stuff here let's say right. I'm on the air one night and something really screws up and I'm trying what, to figure you, out how to solve it or technically technically yeah okay all of a sudden, the numbers go off the uh, off the charts. Well, I know People why. People love you, to watch you fail because you complain a lot about it. See, most most people that do the broadcasting and that kind of thing, they kind of ignore it and make make it look like nothing's going wrong. You, you jump right in. Something's wrong. How come this isn't working? And you've always done that. You're the only guy I've ever worked with in broadcasting that does that. And you jump right on it. Well, because I've always been into technology, I guess. Well, I, th I think you also, you don't want to pretend that there's nothing going on or that things don't break. I, I, th I think that has a lot to do with it. That, that was my no, impression. I don't like to, I hope, I would like it if nothing ever broke. But you know, for as wonderful as all this technology is, it's flawed. Well, you it know? has nothing to do with the technology. This is just the way of the universe. Everything has to undergo entropy. Things break down into simpler and simpler forms. And, and that's just the way it goes. Screw There's nothing the, well, you can do about my it. My attitude is screw, the best things screw, in the world. Screw the universe. Well, you can't do that. Yeah, I guess you not. have no power over the universe. Uh, hey, even 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 the Indians. Uh, well, and, and my I new, mean, I mean the, the nation of India. My, it took them three times to get onto the moon. My newest theory, and I think you you'll probably agree with this, is that uh, nature. You know, the nature of things. Of, the weather, everything. Nature is a sentient being, and it's finally getting even with us. I don't go with the sentient part. You don't? 
No, I think there's something to nature, but I don't think that it's essential. I mean, do you think we underrate nature? We think we're better than nature? We're above nature? I think a lot of us do, yeah. Yeah, I but think. are we? Not at all. If nature says get the... It's part of it. If nature says get the hell out of here, they burned, it burns down a Hawaiian island. That's true. You know? Whatever I happens. Mean, every, that's, that's, everybody's going... The, and I feel sorry for the people over in Hawaii. You know, they're displaced from their homes. And they lost loved ones and all of that. So let's get that out of the way. But the fact is that as people... Uh, you are infringing upon nature. If you weren't there, nature would simply grow grass again on the island there and have it go back to the way it was. It's nature's. It belongs to nature. And all of a sudden, you're there, and all the natural forces come along. They burn you out of your home, and you, everybody goes, wee, wee, wee. That's, it's not yours. But so, we also have a, 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 a second, and I think bigger, uh, problem in that we think we're bigger than nature, that we are grander than everything. Oh, we tried to. We, How did we let this happen? Yeah. How did we let this happen to these to to these to this village to these people? Yeah. We didn't let anything happen. Yeah, it, but, it but but because that's what that's the way things go. But what happens is that we try to find ways to go around nature. You know, with, with science. This is what I said about your technology. It, it, it you, There's nothing you can do to stop it. Marjorie, Marjorie the other day finally said she's fed up with technology. And I, you know, I had to agree with her. You know, because and, because we don't use technology for good. We, we uh, you, you let um, human beings get a good piece of technology and within 20 minutes they'll figure out something bad to do with it. Well, that's just humanity. Yeah, well then that doesn't mean technology is no good. Well, that's but, just humanity. Yeah, but if the technology is there and it enables them to be bad. Well, it, it can be used to be bad, but it doesn't have to. Yeah, I guess. But technology is a great thing, but and I think inherently, yeah, people are just not good. There 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 are there are several things I say about every person and mm -hmm. people look at me strangely initially when I say this and then they kind of back off. I say people, humanity is, people are selfish, hypocritical, judgmental, mm -hmm. liars. Yes. All of us. Every one of them yep. have these four qualities. Except selfish, me. Except me. judgmental, except me. hypocritical, liars. All of us. Except me. Well, see. Have I ever lied to you? Yes, you have. What do you mean? How have I lied to you? Yes, you have. When? You told you told me once when when uh, in the beginning of our relationship that you didn't look through my mail when you clearly looked through my mail. I didn't look through your mail. Yes, you did. When I, when I started producing your show, you used to go on my desk and take my mail and look through it. And no, you I, said you didn't. No, and I know you did. No, I don't. I didn't look through your mail. If I was looking through your mails, that I was looking for mail for me. But you just admitted it. If I was looking through your mail, <laughs> you looked it's through not like mail. It's not like I looked through your mail and said, oh, I got to look at this. It's a letter from some girl here. Let me look at this. Regardless, the point I is. I didn't open we, any we all, of your we mail. All have these, we all have these four qualities. Wait, and what I, were the other, what were the, were the, what were the other three? Selfish. I'm not selfish. We are all selfish. I we all not. do things for ourselves, not to, not to a great extent, a lot of the times, but I'm actually we, not oh. selfish at all. You know, I'm very. Well, then that, then that comes to my number four, which is liars. <laughs> so that, so that's that's two of them I've taken care of. Yeah. Um, hypocritical. We're all hypocritical. Man, we all say know. things and then and then and then do the reverse of what we said. Really. Do uh, I do that? Judgment. Do I do that? Can you name a case where I've done that? I don't have to name a case. Well, yes, you do. I'm you can't call me hypocritical if I'm not hypocritical. If, if you want me to look at it through the history, then. Yeah, you just froze. Then you, I'll, I'm telling you, yeah, it, yeah. It, it is the truth. If if you can sit there and, and say that you, excuse me there. If you can say that you don't have those four qualities, then you're not a human being. 
And I don't, I don't, I don't say anything positive or negative about those things. I simply say that those are things that are inherent but, in but, humanity. Yeah, but you could say pr perhaps that people aren't hypocritical, aren't all those things. But no, I can't. No, people but on are those four things. But on occasion, they have been. Yes, yeah. which means they have those qualities. If you have done those things once, you have those qualities. And I will stick by what I've said. Every human being is selfish, hypocritical, mm -hmm. judgmental, mm -hmm. liar. Those four things. Not me. Okay. <laughs> four. Number four, back on top. No, I don't think I'm hypocritical. I, 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 I hate hypocrisy. So, I mean, I, I fight it in myself. You know, I'm trying to think if I when have I been hypocritical? I'm trying to think of that. We'll 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 bring your wife in on the next uh, on the next meeting. I'm sure she can she can hand a list to to oh, you. Oh, well, she'll hand you a list well, of all kinds of here's, things. Here's here's an here's an an incident. Here's an incident. Here's an incident. Yeah. Hmm. Well, and, and why would you why would you be upset by hearing hearing that? Why would you be upset? There's nothing wrong with it. You know you know what pisses people off most. When I say those four things, they say, I'm not judgmental. I said, well, wait, that's, that's impossible. I said, you live in a society that's based on judgment. You live on a society where you are called legally to judge other people. This is what our society does. So you can't say you're not judgmental. Everybody. You're right. If, you, if, you, if you're on a jury. You're yeah. asked to be and we judgmental. do it all the time. Yeah. We do it all the time. Rate the best this. What's the ranking of that? Isn't that a terrible Judging. thing? Though? I just thought about it. You know, you're called for jury duty and you got to go do it because if you don't do it, they'll arrest you, right? They're supposed to. Yeah, right. So you, they, they won't arrest you and uh, they'll arrest you. So you've got to go judge other people. And I, I got out of jury duty just by telling the judge I didn't want to be judgmental of a, of a drug dealer. I said I felt that uh, drugs, all drugs should be legal, and uh, I, I don't see anything wrong that he's doing, okay? And he said, next, <laughs> right? That was Why would you want to get out of I jury duty? The, I, I, you know, everybody says this to me. Oh, get out of jury duty. If you can't get out of jury duty, you're an idiot. Because Why I don't want to be judgmental of somebody else. But you are. But I you don't are. want to be. I don't want to be forced to be. Do you ever watch television? Yeah. Do you ever say, look at this idiot. Look at that idiot. I'm sure when you watch the news, you say it all the time, especially these days. Look at what an asshole that person is. Yeah, what an asshole That's that Giuliani is. Wait a minute. Is this being judgmental? What an asshole that Gi Giuliani is. Yes. That's, That's being me. judgmental? Or is yes, that just is. making a correct assessment of another human being? It's making, giving your judgment of another human being. There are other people, believe it or not, who say that guy is America's mayor and he's one of the greatest people to ever live. That's that, their judgment. So that's being judgmental too. Absolutely. Judgmental can be positive. Yes. If, if you don't think they're guilty, that's positive, right? Yeah. Are you being judgmental when you see a woman and you go, boy, she's got great jugs? Mm. Well, you're not a liar. Probably not, <laughs> probably not a hypocrite. <laughs> uh, may, that may fall into selfishness also. Why? Yes, you're being judgmental. I'm being judgmental. There's something, there's something you're, you want to grab about that. Not literally. Maybe literally. I, I wouldn't do that. No, you wouldn't. Because I'm a gentleman, by the way. Very much a gentleman. But I, I don't know what the standards are now. Ever since you can grab them by the hoo-ha, yeah, I don't know what the well, standards are. Well, you know, when we, when we have a nation in which we have a man running for president who's got, like, what, 91 indictments against him or something like that, okay. and they still love him? Judgmental. You know, you know what he is? He's the equivalent of the woman who marries a guy who beats her all the time and then says, but I can change him. No, I don't think he wants to change anything. No, no, but they're, they're saying about him, we can change him. He'll be better this time. He won't be a problem. You, know? you mean people who like him? People who, 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 who vote for him? People yeah, who, yeah, yeah. I don't think they want to change him at all. Really? No. 
Boy. I think they like exactly how he is. He's a terrible human being. What a terrible human being. But anyway, we'll, we can get to that on the next time. We do Maybe. That's, Maybe. That's a tiresome subject. Yeah, it is a tiresome subject. Whether I'm a hypocrite or not is not a tiresome subject. Are you, no. a, are you a hypocrite? Absolutely. Oh, okay, good. Absolutely. I, I'll admit to all of those things. I just want to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> How could I say that if I, if, if I couldn't admit to it? Right. You're absolutely correct. Anyway, that guy there, that's Albert Reynoso, and we talk to him every now and then because... Philosopher. I, I, liked, I like talking to him. I like talking to him. Thank you. Um, we'll talk to you soon, my friend. Yes, thank you, and say hello to Marjorie. I me. certainly will. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And hello, everybody. How are you? What's happening? Let me see here. Let me just uh, uh, turn a few things down here. I can't, I can't even see where it is now. Oh, there it is. Okay. Anyway, um, uh, let me see here. Where am I? Oh, I don't know. I want to go up here is where I want to go. That's, that's the... That's the, the transition I want to make. Okay, there we go. Hey, there's nobody calling, which means I could probably give up on this early, I guess. I guess. Uh, there's nobody. Absolutely zilcho. I wish I could show you the screen here, and you would see that it was zero. Plus, I, was, I went to a lot of trouble here, folks. A lot of trouble uh, uh, to get this show on tonight. Uh, my lights went out uh, during uh, the w during while Renoso was on, so I had to set that up. My camera is kind of jittery tonight, and I don't know why. I have no idea why. Uh, uh, I had to work all day trying to correct the situation with our on-demand, which it turns out now was a problem with GoDaddy, which they haven't fixed yet, so I have to do a workaround on it. And I wonder, why am I doing this? You know, what's the reason? What's what? Why am I going ahead with this whole project? You know. So anyway, uh, I hope I don't look too shaky. And, uh, you know, uh, who knows what, what, oh, well, here we got somebody here. They'll, they'll be, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm nobody. Huh? Or chasm, just another surface I offer. Oh, okay. All right. Here comes. Anyhow, um, how are you doing? Yeah, here comes. You don't look jittery. I don't look jittery? No. Hmm. Your lighting looks good. Everything looks good. You're, you're good. I guess it's good. The lighting the lighting went out on me. So, yeah. you know, that was uh, that was one of the problems. I had, I had all kinds of technical problems and crap like that. And I just kind of say to myself, you know, is it worth it anymore? You know? <laughs> is it worth it? I mean, you know, it, it, it's worth it. I mean, Jeff's a nice guy and Brian's a great guy and well, Alan is the verdict is out on Alan, but you know, Alan's a guy. Uh, huh? Alan, Alan's a guy. Well, actually, he he is a, a kind of a sweet guy, but doesn't want to admit it. I mean, he sent me a cane. You know, and then it turned out it wasn't just it was a good cane too. It was not the you know not the wooden <laughs> ones that you beat people over the head with. It's one of those. What do you call them? They're kind of like aluminum. Aluminum, adjustable and aluminum, and the handle is—it's uh, kind of a—it's like a grip. Yeah. Yeah. And, foam. And foam padded. Foam padded, and uh, varying uh, heights and so on. And I—I uh, I figured, oh well, that's very nice of him, you know. And then the leg got worse and worse and worse, and finally, I needed it to get to the doctor. It, it, you know, I wrote you and I said thank you very much. Uh, you it, did. Became, it was a lifesaver. So you know, I, I got to thank you for that. You know, so. you're welcome. What the hell is Brian's that? going to send you a DeLorean? Uh huh. <laughs> I was going to send you the other cane. The other <laughs> cane, yeah, yeah. But I mean, as, you know, I mean that was really I, I boy did I need it, you know, and I probably still do. To be honest with you. Don't you guys have those uh, drive-around wheelchairs, battery-powered, Brian, that you could send them? No, he's Just not going to send home. me one of those. No, we don't have those. You no. Know, 
No. Brian Windor. Well, my problem is I have neuropathy, and I have uh, it's it, it's it's peripheral neuropathy, and it's getting worse. And so my walking is not as good as it used to be. You know, it's a little on the weak side. So, you know, who knows? Uh, James Lee. I think <clears throat> that's the James Lee. I imagine it's the James Lee. If it's not, I'm ready to go uh, immediately to my face here. It is James Lee. Hello, James. How are you over out in Hawaii? Mm. Hello, James. How are you doing, Mr. Bennett? How are you doing, sir? Had a little excitement out there in Hawaii, huh? Oh, the roaches are still flying. So are the termites. Yeah. And the, the sticky crap. Hey, you know, i, I got to have the pest control people over here and tent the house again. Yeah, really? Yeah, before, yeah, you, otherwise, you don't have a house. No, not, my, I, I don't have the pride of, pride of home ownership. Oh, hey, you got that fancy apartment there in, in Harlem. In, <laughs> in, yeah. in New York. <laughs> laugh, laugh, laugh. What was it? Brian Neary entered the waiting room? Wait a minute. Why? Oh, I think he probably did the other thing here. Hold on a second. We'll, we'll, we'll get him. James, what does it cost to tent the house there? About three big ones. Huh? Well, that's only five thousand dollars cheaper than here, in the San Francisco Bay Area. So yeah, yeah. Then you got to power wash the walls when they're all done too. Got to get all really? the green coat off. Yeah. Yeah, but oh. then Don't again, do. then again, could I add though that I you, you don't have the same problem that that uh, James Lee has in that he has huge bugs. I mean, huge, huge bugs. Um, Grande, yeah, yeah, you, you eat them, don't you? In Hawaii, no, we they're at... We got flying cockroaches. Even the termites fly, and they, they're so small, they come right through the screen. Yeah. And oh you my can God. see the sawdust along the windowsill, so you know you're infested. Yeah, now, I'll visit. Now, I here, won't here's what happened. A couple of weeks ago, Lanai, uh, Lanai burned to the ground, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lahaina. It's Lahaina. Lahaina, Lahaina excuse Lahaina. me. Okay. Now, what yeah. island is that on again? It's Maui. on Maui. Maui. They're 90 miles due north of us mm -hmm. uh, on, on the Big Island. Right. Uh, yeah. So, so that yeah, that you know, there are issues there. There's a lot of relief going on and uh, governmental help and you know all that FEMA stuff and all that good yeah, stuff. Going yeah. But on. here's what I'm saying. Well, hey, yeah, that, this is paradise tax. You got to deal with all these uh, problems in the tropics. You know. Yeah. The paradise tax. But <laughs> yes. something, Over a month coming. something like that happened, right? I'll bet you got calls from friends saying, are you okay? No, not really. Most of my friends are dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's old fogies, you know. Wrong, wrong yeah. island. Most of my Italian-American, Irish-American friends that I grew up with in San Francisco in the 1960s, they're gone. Most of those guys, they didn't make it to age 75. Really? Hey, I, they were young and, and tall, six-footers, but when they hit age 50, Mm. All that pasta, all that vino, and all that Marina Yacht Club crap, and those white Mercedes. Then the doctor <laughs> tell them they got fourth stage liver cancer. Adios, adios. I'm oh sorry. boy, oh boy, yeah. You I, know, I, I don't go to high school reunions because who do I see? I see widows and divorcees. That's it. Because mm. the women outlive the guys. There are hardly any men at, at my reunion anymore. They're all gone. Really? <laughs> or they're in nursing homes, assisted care living. I guess, hey, guys. You're doing, I get, you're, yeah. you're doing good, Mr. Bennett. You're doing good. You're ambulatory. Hey, I heard you, your discussion with Mr. Renault. So, hey, getting old is a bitch. We all know that, you know. <laughs> Boy, he's laughing at it. I'm not laughing at it. You know. I think the golden <laughs> years are long gone. <laughs> uh, the, the golden years are a bunch of crap. Yeah, yep. it is. It, it is a it is a bunch of crap. Well, I mean, sure. there was this uh, this thing I saw. I, I mentioned this before. Of uh, I, I can't remember who it was it. Oh, it was uh, Sean Connery. They were doing uh, the AFI tribute to, and he got up and he said, "I more words of a friend of mine. I, he's uh, he's eighty eighty two years old." And uh, I said to him, uh, "So uh, how how do you feel?" He says, "Well, listen. The one thing I can tell you is life is great." But when you get to be 80, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I mean, that that, uh, that pretty well sums it up, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, it, 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 it's not easy getting older, you know. Uh, how old are you? How old are you, James? I'm 8-0. Eight zero. Eight you're 8-0. Zero. Zero. Okay, so you're And now. getting medical care out here is a problem because... Hmm? 
doctors are short. I got to fly to Honolulu for a root canal. Uh, you know, uh, we we only have a population of 200,000 on this island. Not enough to support a real general hospital. Uh, the MRIs or uh, CT scans, they only got two machines, and when they're down, you're screwed. So you got to fly to Honolulu. Uh, like I said. Now you're on, on what island? You're on what island? I, I'm on Hawaii, the big island. You're on the big Hawaii. island. Yeah. You remember that, that there are eight islands in the state of Hawaii. The ninth yeah. island is Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> because 50 percent of the people here all have homes in Vegas. Now, remember, which uh, which island was the island with the uh, with the uh, 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 what do you call it? the uh, leprosy the, the leper Boys colony? Oh, uh, 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 Molokai. Mol Molokai. Molokai. Yeah. Molokai. And the naval ordnance exposure island that which has all the uh, 105 millimeter artillery shells and all that crap uh, uh, off of uh, Nahalu, uh, which uh, the, the native folks are trying to rec reclaim from the military. Uh, they got to pull out all the mines and explosives. You know that was used for a firing range, World War II. Yeah. When did you uh, When did you move to Hawaii? 13 years ago. Two, I, we got out of California in 2010. I got the hell out. Yeah. Hey, Jerry Brown was just too much and. Uh, as you know, uh, Hawaii has no state income tax on government pensions. No state income tax on government pensions. City of San Francisco, United States Army, Air Force, New York City librarians, NYU, uh, any public facility, Michigan State, LA County, not just police or fire, anybody that worked for the government, water districts, Iowa water district, no state income tax. Wow. Well, that's yeah. good. That's why our roads are so screwed up here. <laughs> but what, but, that's why but wait a minute. You, just, no you said brand. to me something like, uh, like when I have to go get a root canal, I have to take a lift car down to the right. dentist, okay? You have to take an airplane to go Damn get right. a root canal. <laughs> yep, plan it out in advance. Spend 150 bucks, 300, 200 bucks to a round trip flight to Honolulu. Mm -hmm. I'll patient, you know, take over up to the dental office. Now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Will, will the dentist? But, but but wait a minute. You can't do, or most dentists won't do a root canal in one sitting. Uh, the ones over here will do it. Oh really? You know, they stick that wire in and start twisting away, man. They start torquing around. You know, they get down to the back of that tooth and they just hang in there, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I just, you know, I mean, I, I, I don't want you to have to keep going back for five more visits. Hey, you if you're know. on chemotherapy, they got to fly you to Honolulu too for radiation treatments. We don't have good radiation treatments here on this island. Wow. And we have people on chemotherapy that fly, you know, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, eight o'clock flight, nine. Actually, it's a six thirty flight going out of uh, Hilo, going into Honolulu, getting in there around seven. So most of the flights going between uh, the Big Island Perfect. and Oahu. Uh, are for all intents and purposes um, airlifts <laughs> for sick yeah, people. Yeah, old bogeys, old bogeys, and also doctors coming in during the day. Wow. And nurses coming in because they don't like to stay on this island. They, you know, the well, why doesn't not... somebody say on on the Big Island, "Hey, you know, it's time we built a hospital here"? Well, it, hey, you only got two hundred thousand people here. You know, we got eight high schools. We ha we we need government handouts. We have to have the government handouts. Wait a minute. Uh, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wasn't this place referred to as paradise? Yeah, it is paradise. <laughs> it's called the paradise tax. <laughs> the paradise tax. That's why a can of Campbell's soup is three bucks at Long's. It's got to be shipped in, man. <laughs> and oranges. You know, oranges are on sale for two ninety nine a pound. <laughs> Listen to they that. Listen to that laugh. Listen to that laugh. That's why garbage. we all eat canned goods. That's why we eat all that canned goods Wait, and all that you, shitty spam. What did you say, Jeff? I said he's a character. He's a character. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's a riot. Yeah. Retired but not dead. Well, I, I think know. some of it is he's he's moved over to the Big Island, lived in Hawaii for 15 years, and after a while you get a little loopy. Yeah, you smell a lot of marijuana. That gets to you. That's true. That's yeah. True. It's, it's we, cheap. Got the, we, we got the best stuff over here, no doubt about it. Really? And everybody's token. It's incredible. You hmm. know, you're allowed four plants to a household. Yeah. But it's, it's well, nice I got a shirt with two pair of plants. Thank yeah, you very much, nice. ladies and gentlemen. That's my joke for tonight. <laughs> you're picking up your jokes from Alan again. Still better timing than Alan. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, you see the jungle behind me? Mm -hmm. yep. all, on, all that jungle behind me, that's that's only about two weeks growth. I'm going to have to have a guy come in and chop it down because stuff grows so damn so, fast. So what now. happens is you, you, the, the jungle really is trying to get you is what it's trying oh, yeah. to do between the bugs and the and the, and oh, the yeah. growth. They, 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 uh, the rats will get in the wheel wells of your car and chew off your ignition wires. Wow. That's why Teslas have problems over here. Sounds like paradise to me. Yeah, it, it really is paradise, isn't it? Well, Honolulu, you, you stay in those fancy $400 night hotels. We love you. Listen, by the way, folks, uh, you want the report for tonight. Let's see here. Because Marjorie was getting some of these today, and they were just horrendous. I've got this program. It's called Citizen. And it tells me... What kind of activity criminally is happening in my neighborhood? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Police responding to a 911 report of a person with what? Uh, a person who may be needed of assistance. Uh, uh, incident. Uh, there's nothing here really. Man damaging cars with a with, with a bat. Oh. That's happening a couple of blocks away. Well, you don't have a car, so you're okay. A child has been uh, hit by a vehicle. EMS are responding. Uh, pedestrian struck by a vehicle. And uh, uh, let's see here. What else we got? Report of a man armed with a knife and a brick. That's all in my neighborhood, folks. That, that, you know, that's a block's worth of, of, of call-outs if you're in Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway so um what have we got to talk about uh, what, what are they to, uh, politically are they do they talk about trump much in hawaii uh, we don't really deal remember hawaii is all about family and uh it's all about family and uh uh it's you know who's your uncle who's your aunt that's who you vote for yeah uh, it doesn't matter whatever they're uh, liberal or or you know or uh, conservative, and you know, uh, Hawaiian politics, as you know, you know, we have our, we're fantastic with corruption. You know, our, the Honolulu police chief is, is going to jail. The head, uh, one of the prosecuting attorneys, his wife, she's going to jail. Uh, but they won't go to, you know, they won't stay in prison very let long. Let me ask this, you, uh, let me ask you this question though: Is Hawaii conservative or liberal? It's hard to say. Uh, with the, we have a lot of uh, Ch Church of the Latter Day Saints folks here. Mm -hmm. A lot of Baptists uh, from the Samoa area, mm -hmm. and LGS uh, is really big church. You know uh, the uh, the Mormon uh, church group, and uh, we have a lot of uh, fundamentalists here, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's a big mixture out here. But uh, it is fairly conservative because it's all about family, uh, yeah. and uh, you know that, that's why folks you know stay on stay on these islands. Uh, the young people, of course, have to leave with a college degree because there's no real work here. They have to go to New York, hey, go to your San Francisco, Seattle, Portland, whatever, because you know there's no high tech here. Yeah. Because if you want to stay here, you know, if you even if you want to work at Walmart, Walmart, who's your auntie? Who's your uncle? You want to get a job with the military? What did your dad do? You go come from a good family. They always ask, what high school did you go to? That tells everybody your social status. Was it a parochial school? Was it a public school? Was it a private school? That tells everybody everything about you. Really? Wow. Uh, that's why, and of course, with the uh, Japanese American situation, the character here, you, there's no direct question or direct answer. You have to uh, basically speak indirectly. Mm -hmm. you, can't, yeah. you can't put a person in an awkward situation that's going to say no. I never, I, I've never, I've never asked you, Brian. You're down in. Uh, where are you again? You, you're San Jose. You're San Jose, basically. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. How are the politics in your neighborhood? Or do you just not talk about them? It's not talked about. <laughs> really? Because if you did, it would be what? No, I mean, you don't see any Trump flags or anything around here. You know, Kevin's area, you start seeing these people going out on 101 where there's a lot of traffic, so they're trying to, you know, get everybody all hyped up. But around here, I never see any signs or, or anything. How about Nothing in, in Fremont either. Yeah. Kevin, how about in your neighborhood? Is it that uh, that bad? Uh, you're not Kevin. Uh, excuse me, Alan? Alan. Oh, no, no, uh, Kevin. You know, if you if you take if you get out of the the Greater Bay Area, it turns all red. It's all 
conservatives. Yeah, L Lodi, Lodi, yeah, Lodi. I see oh, truck, yeah. big trucks with the big flags, and then when we go yep. up to Lake Don Pedro for Fourth of July a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. yeah, guys just proudly slowing their boat down in front of everybody going into the lagoon area with all the F Biden and you know Trump 2024 flags. Why is it? You know, we what's so terrible is I can't remember a time where there was so much hate for the other person, for the other candidate. You know, I mean, yeah, I mean, you didn't you could not like Biden, but you didn't have a sticker that said fuck Biden. You know? No, I mean, even in my worst days, I should have had one that said fuck Nixon, but I never did. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's just, we're, we're so it, hateful now. It's just terrible. Trump, Trump announced on Fox News the other day that he came up with the slogan, Make America Great. Didn't Reagan come up with that? He, yes, did, it, he, it, in, fact, in fact, it wasn't just Make America Great. It was Make America Great Again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was full MAGA. Mm -hmm. He said that he came up with it? out of his mind well somebody asked him where he got it from and he said i made it up because it's true with me uh, yeah. me, Jim, I'm gonna have to go. oh so, okay here. hey Fine thanks question. for calling it's good having you here tonight yeah good to you all look healthy and hey we're we may be retired but we're not dead well uh -huh. we we've, we've missed you and we've missed your laugh we'll see ya take it, care bye-bye okay bye-bye right. okay I, I guess on the Big Island, you only get 10 minutes of uh, internet right. per month. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to, uh, is he, is he, is he, oh, there he goes. Okay. Well, here's the four of us. Okay. So what but do you. It just, it just, I mean, I've never seen a, I'm right and you're wrong as much as we have these last, you know, eight years or whatever. Yep. Yeah. Or before it was, well, no, I'm right, and, you know, we'll see who wins the vote, you know, and those type of things. But never, like, no, I'm right, and you're wrong, and these are why you're wrong, because you're an idiot, and all this, you know, list of stuff. I, I think uh, if I had my way of uh, coming up with a reason why this exists now, I think it's the television news outlets mm -hmm. that have created this bad, negative environment in America. Uh, because they, they've taken a position of you, this channel does this, and everybody else is wrong. All right? Mm -hmm. you know, but I, I think Trump is a lot to blame. He's got the Nazi party back and white power back and the Proud Boys. Who ever heard of, any of the Proud Boys before Trump? I don't think Trump heard of the Proud Boys before Trump. Right. Well, there you go. So, <laughs> you know. No, but I mean, I just, I just find it kind of amazing that uh, you know. I think that it's definitely all the news operations, uh, and I'm not going to single out any particular one, because you go over to MSNBC and they're talking smack about the other guy. Good thing he's not going to single out one. Hmm. I said, it's a good thing you're not going to single out well, one. Well, no, I mean, I, I'll, I'll single out the one that I would probably agree with, okay. all right? You know? But uh, it's... CNN did a poll yesterday, mm -hmm. and Trump will get all the delegates in California, all the Republican delegates. That'll be really good for him, not, not good for us, but... Well, I mean, when you're talking about uh, the uh, who's going to get what in the uh, primaries and so on, you're talking about Republicans voting a Republican slate, okay? And uh, nobody else has really got in a chance because uh, uh, Trump has sucked all the oxygen out of the room. Yeah. Uh, and it, it, it's, I don't know. It's just amazing to me that anybody finds Trump a good idea. Go it amazes figure. Me too. Hmm? It amazes me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But a there lot of people who used to be totally for Trump, mm -hmm. they kind of say, well, we're not that sure anymore. I, I hear that story. Well, yeah, but they can say well, tomorrow that. Tomorrow will be better than today. What is that? Sorry. 
<laughs> Brian's girlfriend calling him. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's just yeah. They yeah. CNN had an interesting poll. They are they were talking to Carvel and and um, they said uh, the the better the economy is doing is a fact, and even with that, Biden's ratings are going down. I saw and they're they're trying to attribute that to that people still don't think their voice is being heard, even though the economy is doing better. It's not where people expect it or want it to be. It's still an issue, so they still they want to they want to still push that and say Biden's not doing a good job. Phil Phil says the economy is doing horrible because in the Bay Area we're paying five and a half dollars a gallon for gas. And I said before COVID, we were paying four and a half or five dollars. So, well, you know, it's not much different, you know. And Trump yeah, was. Well, oh, I brought this up. I brought this up last night, and I'll bring it up again. These people who go, oh, you know, Trump was the greatest president ever. He got more things done when he was president than anybody. And I'm thinking, Bullshit. name something. Yeah. <laughs> You know, name anything that he might. Maybe he, he, even the first two years when he had total control, he had the, the House and the Senate were all Republican. He couldn't get the wall built. He couldn't start stop the Affordable Care Act. He couldn't do a lot of things. Yeah, but I mean, he couldn't do anything, and he didn't do anything. And then when I say, you know, the next thing you could ask him is, well, he's running for president again. What's he for and what's he against? No. And I def defy any of those people to tell me what he's for or against because yep. when he gives a speech out on the stump what's he talking about himself mm -hmm. he's not talking about what he's going to do for the country <clears throat> and how he's going to improve the economy and what he's going to do about china and blah 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 there's none of that you never hear that in any of his speeches he's a legend in his own mind yeah it's pretty terrible pretty terrible it's, it's a terrible time in which we live yeah and uh it, it's uh I, you know I'm, I'm a little a loopy lately and maybe i'll get loopier and won't have to pay attention to any of this crap you know maybe 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 the great god's great gift is alzheimer's or something like that you know for trump yeah <laughs> Because I mean, just having to deal with this news every day, and and Marjorie, as I say, she's addicted to the goddamn thing. She claims she isn't. She claims she watches other stuff. Yeah, well, right now she's watching tennis. Okay, yeah. but otherwise, if there wasn't tennis. There she is. She's watching this news show, that news show, and it's all the same message over and over again. And every hour, it's the same subject. You know, and it's all Trump, 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 Trump. Well, maybe if they'd start talking about the other people who are running, maybe they'd have half a chance. But nobody is. So. Yeah, I just remember when Biden got elected, we thought there's no way he's going to run four years from now. Well, I didn't. I, I think he's doing a great disservice. Okay. I think that he, you know, it is a great disservice, and that's it, plain and simple. Um, I think you should step aside and let somebody else run. But nobody's doing that. What's his name? Um, Mitch McConnell. All, all these people, right? Is it Mr. Uh, right? And then uh, Diane Feinstein. All these people are sitting there just dying. You know, they're they're going to hold out until they die on every you know position these people are holding. Yeah. Have you seen the latest thing, which is an ad for Disney's movie Frozen? And they've got all the main characters there, like Elsa and, and her sister and, and uh, you know, the, the, the snowman and all of that. And in the yeah. middle, standing up, is Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Speechless, I'm sure. The second time, I these people around him, you know, they come up to him and they're like right there, and the the, the doctor clears them, says everything's okay, and I'm like, this guy's gonna just die and collapse. Well, right? yeah, yeah. Look, he, I'm sure it's okay in that he probably is capable of doing day to day things, okay, mm -hmm. but I mean, this freezing up has got to be something to be attended to, 
and it may be as a result of the fall that he took. Probably. You know, and uh, it could be that it's nothing that's going to prevent him from continuing his job. But then he's going to turn around and run again. Oh, you know, and, and there, there are people who are saying F Diane Feinstein is thinking of running again. I love her aid. Just vote yes. Yes. I mean, oh. come on. You know, give up at a certain point. And, that's, and what I feel uh, that Biden has done that is terrible for, to us is Biden has... Biden, Biden shouldn't be running. He's not doing anybody any favors. Okay? Now, and I, I'm one to say, okay, so, he, so he's older. That's not the reason why. It's that there's the perception and all of that, you know? And there's a certain point in your career where you you quit, you stop, you say, hey, I've done my service to the country. But these guys just keep going. I mean, we, how many, how many 85 It's hard old, to give up the power. Is it the power that's hard to give up or is it just the spotlight? Maybe. You know? There are people who stay in show business too long. I mean, here you are, yeah, I was just going to say, here, here you are at uh, 82 years old. Three. Oh, 83. 83 years old. I'm getting old and forgetful. 83 years old, and you're still doing a podcast. And Monday, the only day you miss is the weekend and, and Tuesday. And it's uh, successful. It's not successful. <laughs> Look at it. There are, four, there are three other people besides me here. This is an utter failure. Yeah, the important it's an here? utter failure. What? Hmm. No, there's 44 people watching right now. That's like a record this yeah. year. Yeah. And yeah. Phil's not even on. Well, 46 now, I see. Yeah. Wow, see? That's because they heard Jeff was going to start dancing. Well, I think they yeah. just like a show that's chatty. You yeah. know? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Look, I, I quit. And gave up my so-called job. You had a stroke, for crying out loud. Well, I know, you know. I didn't tell anybody that <laughs> at that time. What? Kinda, you didn't I tell kinda... anybody? Wait, 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 wait. You didn't tell anybody you had a stroke at work? No, not well. Of course they did. But I'm talking about I talked to my customers and stuff, and I, I tried to fake it. Really? And I got all the people to do some of the jobs that were different. I mean, I heard some of your assistants said, Jeff, you're drooling on the paperwork. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I said, oh, well, please wipe my face or something. Yeah. Wait, go, go. Can we, can we go back? So, Jeff, no, wait, just, were you just working? A, were you, you working? Get to a time when you're tired yeah. of whatever you're doing. And you got to leave, okay? Some people are lucky that they can leave at the right time. Yeah. No. Yeah, I mean, well, it, 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 some people have to know when it's time to leave the stage. I think yeah. I've overstayed my welcome, okay? I've, I'm beginning to believe that. Please drag me off the stage, will you, when I'm no longer... Really? I, I know Charlie will. What's your T-shirt today, Charlie? Oh, it's a philosopher. It's a dinosaur that studies the meaning oh, of life. Oh, philosopher. <laughs> oh, very good. And he's got his little, little ear like this. He's yeah, he's pondering the wonders of the universe. The Velociraptor. Hmm. I thought maybe it was the Republican National Headquarters new symbol. By the way, how's your heat down there? How's the heat down there, Charlie? Well, I was talking the other day about how cool it got. It was 108 today when I got to the softball field. So. Uh, you know, it has been, I got to tell you, it's been horrible here. Got to be in the yeah. mid 90s there right now. Today, wow. totally. it, it, today it was, and it's not, and it's the humidity, right? The humidity yeah. is just, I go yeah. on, we have two parts of the house, and when it's summer like this, we turn on the air conditioner in the bedroom, and that helps cool the back end of the house, right? We open the door, we have a little swinging door that we can close during the summer. And we, we close it, and I go out there to do something like eat dinner or whatever, and you hit the humidity, and it is just, it's, it's it, I can't tell you how terrible it is, you know? It's 
been this has been a very hot summer. Very well, air conditioners summer. pull moisture out of the air, but you can get if you don't want a air conditioner room, you can get a dehumidifier that you can roll around and mm -hmm. a few hundred dollars. Yeah, but you know the trouble with dehumidifiers? They take too much work because you've got to you got to empty the water out of them after a while. Mm -hmm. That's what Tony Magno's for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tony. Yeah, but you can put the little scent drops in there. So, like, Adrian has one, and we had, little, like, a little, uh, uh, you know, like, sleepover night in her room. And we had the humidifier with the, the eucalyptus, and it smelled like eucalyptus. Oh, but he's okay. trying to get rid of the humidity. You you said the humidifier worked. Yeah, yeah. So well, now, what, ha what happens in a room if you oh, have, if you go on and you have, in one part of the room, a humidifier, and the other part of the room, a dehumidifier? <laughs> I think they call that a Republican. Does it rain in the middle of the room or something? Or? <laughs> sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, That's Tony, funny. that background where you had wallpaper before? Mm -hmm. no, oh, now I'm in the basement with like 20,000 comic books all around. Oh, wow. Alex, I can pretend it. They made me. Uh, What's it? What? How come you don't send me any what'd of you the say? Good what'd comic you, books? What'd you, what, wait, wait, what'd you say, Tony? I got good tenants upstairs. They're nice. They're a nice couple. So oh, they made cookies the other day, so they gave them to me and my brother. You're renting the upper that part of the house out now? Yeah. Huh? My mother's probably going to haunt them. Yeah. What? Yeah, what? upstairs is rented, so I'm in the basement now. So you're back in the basement again. They're nice. Yep. I'm okay. in the basement. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Your Wi-Fi is terrible down there. Yeah. <laughs> Your Wi Fi is terrible down there. Your Wi Fi yeah, is terrible down there. Soon. Yeah, your yeah. Wi Fi is terrible <laughs> down there. Oh, is it? Yeah, you, we can hear you. Hold on, let me we check my router. It's over here. Uh oh, now you just oh, 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 disappeared. Oh, That's a magic trick. Oh, <laughs> I disappeared. Poof. <laughs> <laughs> so now he doesn't have the rest of the house to live in anymore? Exactly. <laughs> Getting closer to the curb, Alex. He's the richest guy. He's the richest guy. I'm getting closer. Did you hear him? I'm getting closer to the curb. <laughs> I heard you in the beginning of the show. Alex, when are they going to retire? I was listening last night. Mm -hmm. You made a good point last night. You were talking about Trump and how they're... I know you guys want him to go to jail. I get it. But yep. we don't want to have a rush to trial, do we? I mean, let the jury decide. Oh, I want to rush to trial. I do. I, I want to see him in the jumps. I want to give it to you. I fast as possible. I want the, and I want the I want the outcome of this is the death penalty. Okay? And I'm very much <laughs> no, against the I death penalty. I think you're not for the death penalty. I'm not for the... I'm joke. very much against the death penalty, but where Donald Trump's concerned, <laughs> eh. No, I'm reading a book on Al Capone. He's <laughs> making you look pretty good. In this country, you have you're afforded a speedy trial a lot of uh, really? uh, attorneys put it off waive that and try and get length so they can build up the case and stuff so we'll see what happens with trump well Will you know they the feel they feel if they stall long enough you know one thing and another mm -hmm. and so on and so forth but yeah he's already called the judge his attorney and in, in uh, georgia's already called the the uh, judge a racist and she's a black woman well let me ask you about sentences a second yeah. you know um we in the last couple of days have had a couple of sentences uh handed down to like the proud boys and so on that yeah, were very high i mean with tw what 22 years was one of them yeah, yeah. Right? Uh -huh. yeah and i'm just thinking you know is that the right amount of penalty for what they did you know, it's not that I'm sympathetic towards them, but I just think we get a little too loosey goosey with the uh, with uh, uh, the sentences that we hand down, and it, we're handing them down at a time when there's a sympathy going on. Is uh, uh, the best way I can put it. You know, there's a, a mental state of people going, "Yeah, let's go get them." You know, that was a terrible time. Let's give them those. If if they had waited and held it off for like two or three years, would they have gotten a lesser sentence? I hope not. No, but I well, think they, they would have. They were offered lesser sentences mm -hmm. to plea bargain, and th there's actually something in the news today or yesterday that mm -hmm. said a lot of them were offered between five and eight years, yeah. and they decided to go to trial. And when they went to trial, and now they're getting 20 years 
And this is federal time, which means yeah. they're not going to get that much time off for good behavior. I don't think so. I think you're right. You know, mm -hmm. if it were a, if it were a state charge or something like that, and they give you t you know 22 years, you're ready for parole in five or something like that. You know. Yes. You know what's Tony. funny? You said that, Alex, with the uh, jail time. I was watching a an old a, a old documentary. It was on the drugs in the '60s, and they were actually giving these guys seven eight years for pot for for selling. And now it's legal. And you would think seven years. That's your era. Isn't that a little long for selling like pot? Well, years ago, years ago, my yeah, years ago, my friend Abby Hoffman got busted with cocaine. Oh yeah. Okay, and uh, he then took off and disappeared. Okay, and he disappeared for like five, eight years, something like that. I, I think it was like eight years. And uh, when I finally met up with him, I said, why did you run from the law? He says, well, I'm going to turn myself in uh, because it's time. And I said, well, why did you run? And he said, if I had gone to trial then because of the you and cry about me and about drugs at that time, yeah. they would have put me away for 20 years. And he said, right. he, and what he did is he came back, gave himself up, and took a year in jail. Okay, oh. times have changed enough. Time has changed. Times changed enough that the the amount of time he had to spend was down. Yes, Alan. So we came up with a proposition here a couple of years ago. Proposition fifty-seven doesn't matter the number, but um, what they're doing is a lot of people that were convicted of possession of marijuana. They're they're vacating their charges and letting them go free. Yeah, but that, that's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is that he felt if he went away for a certain amount of time and then came back, oh, I understand. the the desire to see him spend a lot of jail time would be far less. And he was right. He was absolutely mm -hmm. right. He oh, yeah. got he got I a mean, total what, of a year what, in jail. When I was a cop, you got over. stopped with, in your car with it, and we found a joint in the car. You're you're guaranteed twenty years in prison for a joint. Yeah, I remember back in the seventies and eighties, people yeah. getting twenty yeah, years. Yeah, well, that, I started in the eighties, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, a big crime to have marijuana in the car. But uh, so you know, I mean, all I'm saying is, is that right now we all want to see these guys get a lot of time for what they did in that insurrection at the at the Capitol. But the question is. Is that really a 22-year crime? I think it's longer. I, I think we're, no, I think, why do you think it's longer? Because of what they plan to kill Mike Pence, to kill the vice president, and I, they, they, they built the gallows. That wasn't, now there you're wrong. Did you see those gallows? They, really they couldn't hang a they piece of a pot roast from there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, they were crazy. I mean, if you, you know, I mean, that, I, I'm sorry. People were armed. They had guns and knives and stuff. And they, oh, yeah, yeah. They could have done serious damage to Congress. Absolutely. But A, they didn't. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. No, they couldn't. They, they couldn't do it. Oh, they got into the chamber, Jeff. How can yeah, they? Yeah, they were sitting in the, in the House of Representatives. You don't, you don't need a gun to kill somebody. Well, well also, also these, 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 these people, if they were guilty, of, really guilty of anything, it was total incompetence. You know, uh, well, uh, it's uh, certainly, uh, certainly, Trump think we're getting away with at a minimum. Like well, no, they were living with a with a with a thought that hey, we 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 can do this. You know, that we can because pull this Trump off. Trump will back us. Oh well, that's the other part. Yeah. You know something? I don't know why anybody befriends Trump. This guy will not stand behind you. Do you know no. that Rudy Giuliani literally begged him before he left office to pardon him for any future crimes? Yeah. Right? I didn't know that. And he wouldn't do it. If he had done it, you know, he wouldn't. Uh, and and he, he's not taking care of Giuliani's uh, legal fees. No. No. So, you know. Rudy's in trouble. He's totally at fault. So. Why, if you're Rudy, wouldn't you turn on Trump? Because yeah. he's not. Alex, he's, he's got to have dirt on this guy. No, but he's, he's not. He, no, but he's not protecting. He's not standing by I anybody. No, I don't. Oh, but what he's about a loyal mobster? Really? What about the limo driver? I mean, the guy, the guy, somehow, like you know, let's help this guy out. 
Yeah. Oh, he shit out of luck, that guy. Forget it. Yeah, what were you what gonna about, what, what about the guy moving all the documents over? Yeah. Do you think he's going to pay for his lawyer fees? Yeah. Nope. Well, if he's not, he's really I would good. turn tail and t- tell yeah. on Trump, you know. I mean, he, but he has no loyalty towards anybody. No, no, no. And so You're where crazy. he gets this loyalty, I have no idea. idea. Why was Mark Meadows the way he was? And why was Giuliani the way he was? And why were all these other people the way they were when they knew damn well that he wouldn't stand by them? Well, maybe they thought he would. Yeah. Yes, Tony. Can it be? Can it be? I know this is total stretch. But can it be that they were so like, you know those like the gurus like say Jim Jones and these other people who have this power like almost like, can you you think they're a guru like they believe everything? No, I don't think so. I think most of them thought he was full of crap. I like the way Tony's freezing up. Yeah, Tony's freezing up again. You know something? You got to do something about it. His whole career way. Tony, Tony, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you. Okay. You're breaking up a lot today, and and that's because uh-huh. in the basement you're not getting a good Wi-Fi signal. Should I move my, com- no, move no, my computer? No, no. Over Here's there. what you do when you get yeah. some time. You find the router, okay. the router that came with your house, right? It's upstairs, right? Mm-hmm. The router, it. the router. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, but no. You you go get the router, and yeah. you. Take one of the lines, one of you've got those little, probably, probably have a couple of lines open in the back, and you run the wire down I to should. the basement. And then you're going to have. I was going to say, I do have a router here. Hold on. No, I no. have another router here. Let me go to we the other care. computer. I don't want to see no, it. No, no, no. That's a router no, for the Wi Fi, Tony. No, I'm, I, gonna, I'm talking about your hardwired I, router. Run an yeah. Ethernet cable from the Wi Fi router to your yeah, computer. Yeah, the Wi Fi. Am I getting better? No, no much better. It's more, oh, it's more, yeah, now, now you're sounding like, you know, I, we, we've actually gotten better reception oh, exactly. from the moon. Oh, it's a mess. We're you getting make the from Trump you. the president flag off the top of your wife. No, here's about. what you do. Tony, listen to me. Yeah, I'm bad, Danny. I got to do what you said then. Yeah. Can you hear me? What you do is you just take one of the outputs out of the back of the router, not the Wi-Fi, the router, okay, and run it down into the basement with a long line of uh, wire, which you it's can. It's called an Ethernet kit. And then we just lost him. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Folks, to begin with, and and this is my, I honestly believe this, I do not use Wi-Fi in this house. I do have Wi-Fi. I have it for the phone, you know, and I have it for uh, a few other things. But I don't use it for anything like this. All this is hardwired Mm -hmm. into the Ethernet. So that, you know, but if I were using Wi-Fi, it can freeze up, you know. All you got to do is have an intermittent signal in the house, for instance, and you're you're going to have a problem, you know. But look, we lost Tony completely. My computer is ran just the way you told them. I got a, a Wi-Fi, a, a, a router that comes from Comcast, and on the back of it, it's got four Ethernet holes. Yeah. And one of them goes to my uh, this computer that I'm on right well, now. For, one of them goes. One of them goes to the uh, to the, the signal coming into your house. Right. And then the, those ports on the back. And they're usually about four of them. Uh, yep. Are each used to go to various sun and sundry subjects. Yep. I use what I do is I have like uh, these uh, intermittent, uh, uh, you know, th- things that I plug it into, and then there are four more, you know, and I got them all over the house. Extender, but extenders, but I'm I'm not. It's not extender really. It's just uh, it's just uh, you know it's. Uh, it's plugged into the wall, and you put your oh 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 those things. And then yeah. there are four more outputs out what? of the back of that. And then I got that them something going to another one with four more outputs. My wall, my Wi-Fi goes through six walls into my garage and a hundred feet away from this thing, and I get perfect Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah, I, I forget what we what do we call them. I, I forget what you call them now. 
See, extenders. I think you're no, right. No, they're not Wi-Fi. extenders. An extender is something that will take a you Wi-Fi plug into signal. You the wall and, and, it, and it extends your uh, your. Uh, no, no. You, then you get four more ports out the back, okay. off of one output. You know, so really, I've got those all over the house, so that uh, there's always a strong signal going to Wi-Fi. everything. Wow. And like my TV set in the other room is not right. hooked to a Wi-Fi. It's hooked to the uh, a wi- wire that goes all the way from here into the bedroom. Mm. But you know, I just I, I years ago when I was doing TV, we found you could either do one of two things when you were doing TV. You could have a microphone that was a wireless microphone, or you could have a microphone that was a wired microphone. And we always preferred a wired microphone. Because you know, with a wife with a wired a wireless microphone, what's that signal? We, I have some s- signal coming in. It's a baseball game. Uh, you know, we, you know, so that's where I learned that. Was. Tony, Tony's very technical. He just sent me a text. I'll check my router. I think my FiOS F I O S is down. Never heard of a FiOS. No FiOS. No FiOS is there. Fi- 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 I have FiOS here. It's what yeah. I. Oh. That's, oh, it's the name of an internet company. It's Verizon. Yeah. It's Verizon. Oh. Yeah. And, and Fios is. Uh, um, I, I don't know if they call the internet system Fios. I believe so. What does it say on my router? <laughs> Prices. Oh, yeah. No, that, that's Fios. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So I have Fios. You know, and it's, uh, it's it, what it is. It's a, uh, <laughs> a what do you call it? Uh, optical fiber. Fiber optic, yep. Well, or optical fiber, one or the other. One of the two, okay. yeah. But anyways. John Renshaw, John Renshaw on, on the chat says, uh, Tony's mom's wallpaper was great for bouncing Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had to tell him when he comes back on, if you left the wallpaper up, you'd get good Wi-Fi. Put it back up, Tony. Yeah, that's very funny. Very good. Thank you, John Redshaw. That's a very funny comment. I don't yeah. ever. I don't really look at the chat that much, mainly because I'm doing the show and I, I don't have time to follow <clears> it and go. Oh, let me see what are people saying. You know. But it's nice of you people who do chat with each other. Although it's only John Red Redshaw chatting with himself. It looks like tonight. It used to be Charlie every day. The death toll is. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I mean. Charlie was in there, and Charlie, all of you could write in right now if you want to, you know. Anyway, Stop, there's more coffee, folks. I need it. Well, I've only got about five minutes left here. I got right here. <laughs> oh, right on. Hurricane Lee rapidly intensifies into a Category 5 storm. Oh, what happened? Heading, what happened? Heading what happened? South yeah. Florida. What happened tonight? Now, Coco Goff, who is this uh, female tennis player, black female tennis player, Mm. who is a teenager Mm. uh, tonight um, wound up she's going to the finals of the U.S. Mm. Open in the women's tournament right? It's great but there was some kind of 40 minute protest that went on uh, at the uh, the U.S. Open tonight that prevented them from playing for about 40 minutes and I'd like to know what that little kerfuffle was about. Hmm. You know, but congratulations. My son, huh? my son watches all that stuff. So I'll see him tomorrow. Yeah, find out what that kerfuffle, well, we'll know by tomorrow what the kerfuffle yeah, is all about. But what, there was a protest going on at the U.S. Open? I mean, come on. They heard Tony Magno was in the house. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't follow tennis, so. Hey, tell those jokes on Jack's show. He loves them. <laughs> Even Charlie laughs on Jack's show. Yeah. <laughs> he loves them. He's holding back. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine with me. Uh, but anyway. Um, his, his, is a, his is a recording. What? Yeah, I try to listen to his sometime. I can't get it. I don't know why. Get what? Jack show. Well, you can't get it? I, yeah, I guess Gabnet's the best way, right? But yeah. I, hmm. I downloaded Skype and go right to Skype. 
I just want to listen. I don't want to go on it. No, well, also there's a. Uh, uh, it, it, you can click on uh, on the Gabnet on the Gabnet page. You can click on that old thing that says "Great American Broadcast," mm -hmm. the big white thing. Just click on that, and that'll give you the audio from mm -hmm. from his show, mm -hmm. without having to go there. Are, I guess other ways you can do it. I, but we it's not going out in very many other places. Um, <clears throat> but that's how you can. How you you know that you have any idea with Skype the numbers of people that are actually listening? With Skype? Yeah. No, they don't listen to Jack's show on Skype. No, no, no. I mean, do you have any idea how many people listen to Jack's show while it's live or while after after the show? Well, af during the show, I can tell. After the show, not not as much. I have to go to a you know, a thing. A, uh, I, I, other ways of finding out those numbers. Yeah. I, I was just wondering how many people you, on an average, listen to the show while. It's well, we, uh, how many people listening to the program while it's on is not as important as how many people wind up listening to it eventually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you know most of the podcast stuff is on demand. A lot of people don't say, "Oh, hey, it's six o'clock. It's time for you know." Alex, I got to go listen to him. Mm. So you know, the fact that we're getting, you know, almost 50 people tonight here is wonderful. It's terrific. But it's not, uh, that's not the number we care about. We care about the aggregate number after everybody has mm. listened over a period of time. So, mm. you know. That's when the money starts rolling in? Yeah, that's when the money starts rolling in. <laughs> you know. But there, uh, there's a. Uh, there's a customizer that I always that I reference a lot about. He's 96 right now, mm -hmm. and he still he still he has classes and he hammers the metal and and the class and he's doing welding and all this other stuff. But that's why he stays so young. He keeps going to the car shows, dancing with the girls at night and all that stuff. And he he's with this girlfriend now, this younger lady who's there's a lot of rumors that this whatever they say is like you know she's she's telling him to stop doing all this stuff and whatever she's trying to take his money or something but he's selling off all his property now he has a big place a big shop and everything mm -hmm. and he's selling that and everybody thinks it's that girl but that's what i say is keeps you young still is because you keep doing this even though the you know it's not as big as before or live 105 and all that stuff but but i think that repetition and making you you know get ready for the show and i know you don't prep for the show but you know, keep exercising like that. I think that's what keeps you going a lot. I just had a lady. She just quit. She was in her seventies, and then she went. She went down to L.A. and like three months later, she passed away. She said only her friends were at work. So yeah. that's, that's why I think you got to keep doing this. Well, I, I think I think it's important to keep doing it. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, in spite of the fact that I'm exhausted most of the time, you know, because <laughs> it's late at night, you know. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I know. I if if it was at the night, the time three hours later right now, mm -hmm. midnight right now, I don't know how many times I would laugh. I'd be like Charlie right now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be yeah. Yeah. I, I could I couldn't make it every night. I'm sorry. You you, you couldn't. Hey Char Charlie, people are still going. But what what age groups are you umpiring? Um. Well, uh, you have to be 18 years. Old and there's no upper limit, so we have oh, okay. oh, so adults. Adults, yeah. Okay. yeah. But they so will let you, with your parents' none. approval, they'll let a 16 year old. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to start playing the theme here, and uh, we'll call it quits for tonight, because I'm exhausted, mm -hmm. and I have to go to sleep. <laughs> anyway. No, I have to wait till Jack's off so that I can post the shows. Why I don't do it the next morning, I have no idea, but just call me a good guy. Hey, Alan, good seeing you here. So nice of you to join us tonight and not tell any yep. jokes. We appreciate that. <laughs> uh, but, you know, Jack will laugh at them, so go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, always good seeing you here, you know. Cool. There's a guy that stays healthy, you know? Amazing. Right. Yeah. 60 years old. Look how great he looks. 
No, he's only 35. Oh, 35, sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Brian, <laughs> great to have you here, Brian. I uh, consider you a great uh, fan of mine, and I appreciate it. Thanks. And, of course, the same is true of Charlie Wallace down there in the heat and uh, everything. And uh, Man, I'll just be... Is it, is it hot longer this year than it usually is? Isn't it supposed to stop at the beginning of, of September and yeah. it's supposed to get cooler? Well, it was much cooler last week, but then it heated up again. I thought week. it was over with last week. Yeah, yep. but, uh, anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll uh, say goodbye to our wonderful citizen panel who have been here all night tonight. And there'll be a new one forming over at Jack's show at GabNet Live on Skype. So uh, that'll be next over most of this same station. Uh, we certainly love having you guys here. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, you know what to do. Tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. <laughs>